G'day guys, Moose here. Now these five minute safety video hits are strictly safety only. It's to keep you out of trouble and you don't chop off something that we can't grow back. If you wanna check out my more comprehensive videos, go to the playlist. That's where we chat about the gear we use, your initial purchase, budget, what to look out for. We do obviously do the safety stuff, but also I like to add in some of the hot tips I've learned along the way. We chat about maintenance too, and a few other things. So they're the comprehensive ones you go to. This is strictly safety only. I want to keep you out of harm's way, and I want you guys to be nice and safe and confident. All right, let's go. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I've got five safety tips that will keep you out of harm's way, you and your family members. First one, it's a rule for everything, is your PPE, your personal protective gear. I've got my earmuffs, I've got these special shatterproof glasses, but make sure you get safety glasses of some sort, super important. With the bandsaw in particular, please make sure you don't have any kind of loose clothing or um, jewelry or anything that could get caught, long hair, um, geez, Moose in year nine would have had to put his hair up. Um, yeah, not these days. Uh, a bit of common sense, make sure nothing can get caught. Um, we'll zoom in and I'll show you a couple other little things. All right, that was tip number one, PPE. Safety tip number two is the height of the guard. So please set it at whatever you need, about five mil above the timber that you're cutting. The idea, it has two functions. It means I can't get any pieces of me, as well as my timber, through the gap. And on a bandsaw in particular, you've got a few functions down, down here that kind of help the blade, I guess, stabilize a bit. So you'll get a better cut, you'll get a better job. So don't be lazy, if you're cutting something different, always adjust your height. Doesn't take long, and uh, I don't want you to damage something that you can't grow back. I don't know what it's been like for you guys, but during this COVID time, I think I've been putting on a few kilos, and I was thinking about going on a diet, but I've just got too much on my plate. No, bro. <laughs> Leave a comment. Rate my dad joke. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. Safety tip number three. See the circle? In all of them, there'll be a circle of some sort. That I refer to as a no-go zone. So your fingers should never be anywhere in that little guy. There's no excuse for it. There's always different ways you can move your hands or you can use a scrap of timber, but you should never have your hands anywhere close to that. All right. Safety tip number four is I should never see any parts of your body in line with the blade, fingers or thumbs in particular. So if this is what I've got to cut, I have to be left and right of the line of the blade. Whether it's curves, straights, I shouldn't see anything in its way. And my last tip, and this is a once in a blue moon, hope it never happens to your tip. If your blade breaks for any reason, it usually will bundle up up the top. You'll find it folded up in here. Occasionally, honestly, once in a blue moon, it will pop out and it either goes kind of left or right. So the hot tip is your offsiders or your family members or a little helper, they're not allowed to stand here. So pick a better alternative. Now my hot tips. I'll just give you a few that get you underway, um, something to gain a bit of confidence with. My first hot tip, depending on the size of your bandsaw and the blade width in particular, that really kind of governs how tight of a curve of a cut you can do. Um, some bandsaw blades, the, the blade can be quite massive versus they get quite small, almost scroll saw size, and they can um, almost turn back on themselves. So my blade is about a centimetre, 
so I know roughly what kind of how tight of a radius it can do. You'll get to a point where you'll hear your bandsaw tell you, I think that's enough before I'm going to break. It will kind of squeal at you a little bit. There'll be a sound that's not, that's not normal. Um, that's your machine telling you to stop, to back out. Um, I'll give you a couple tips on how you can avoid that. 